Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, you are welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always stopping by. Thank you so much for always watching my video. So in today's video, I make this Florence ruffled sleeve. Yes, this beautiful Florence ruffled sleeve. So if this is something you want to learn how to make, just keep watching and let's get started. So welcome guys this is what you'll be needing you'll be needing a crinoline. line so the length of this crinoline, line the width is two inches you'll be needing your fabric your fabric depending on how you want the ruffles to be big depending on how you want it to be so yeah what i have here is like one and a half fabrics yeah one and a half yard of fabric so i folded it into four that is i'm cutting two cycle flare and each one is like 14 by 14 you know i folded it into two so you'll be cutting the two together at once so i folded mine 14 by 14 yeah 14 by 14 that's how i folded it so just make sure you have depending on how you want it to be big how big you want it to be rather so if you want it to be bigger than this you can do more than this but at the end of this video just check if you if you like the size that means 14 by 14 will be okay by you if you want it to be smaller you know you have to reduce it and if you want it to be bigger you know you have to increase it so now i just did these four points like just four lines just to know the midpoint of it then i um, will be drawing a cycle around it and the height will be three inches each so you divide this into four then you start marking three three inches three inches yeah just go like that just three inches you had the three inches all around just like that So you keep marking three inches until you get to the end of the fabric until you get to the end you just keep matching marking it there'll be a point where there won't be space for the three inches that's when you know you've gotten to the end so you just keep marking like that and you'll be drawing your spiral line just like that Just keep marking just like that so that's the end point over there as you can see there is no more fabric to measure again yeah so that's my end point over there so now the next thing to do now is just to cut to cut it around and just look at the way i'm cutting so you don't make mistake i first of all call that part over there then it starts cutting around just keep cutting around 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 it until you get to the very end So now this is the end point over here so i'm just trying to trim it out so that i can have a tiny end over there so i'm just cutting it out over there so this is what i have this is what i have so the next thing to do now is to add my crinoline then to sew so this is my crinoline i don't know if i've said this earlier but i bought five yards of crinoline for this this 14 by 14 i bought five yards of green line which was not enough like i still needed like half inch um half yard more so after sewing this is what i have like i said earlier the green line was not enough so i have one half yard at home so this is what i had it and still yet it still remain small over here so i'm just trimming out that part since i don't have any green line to add 
So now the next thing to do now is to turn it over, to flip it over like this. To flip it over, then I will iron. So I'll flip it over, then I will iron it. Just flip it over like that, then I will iron. So after ironing two, so I will sew the end. So this is my sleeve. This is the sleeve I will be attaching it with the next sleeve. So now I will just be marking. I will be marking the line. I will be doing 10 by 10. That is 5 at this side, 5 at the other side. Also 5 there. 5 up, 5 down. But know that there is like 1 inch on the upper part for it to accommodate it so if you are using ankara this method will work for you but for my nets it did not work for me so i didn't know it would not work so i just did this marking at first but it did not let her work for me i use another method to attach it so if you mark it like that you just draw a spiral just round it like that and you start fixing it round on it just like that you keep sewing but it did not work for me so i have to do this cycle like drawing and um, cutting a 10 by 10 fabric so i cut two then i sew it round and i turn it over then i now sew my flans on it the ruffles i sew it on it so that's how i could fix it on it because it was just folding up and it was not looking nice so i just have to do use this method and this method really works well for me so i just place it at the middle of the mark the line we've marked before i hope you remember that line we've marked before so that's where i placed it so i placed it there then i pin it i pin the four points So you just pin the four points over there, the up, down, and both sides. Then after pinning, you will sew, you will sew it down. So after sewing it down, this is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like after placing it on my hand. This is what the sleeve looks like, and you can see. Don't know this camera is not doing justice to how beautiful it looks. It looks really, really nice. So I attach it to the dress. You will see it very soon. I attach this sleeve to the dress I made. So it was just one side, like just one, not for both ends, just for one end. So this is what it looks like after attaching it to it. It was not really easy to make, or I will not lie, but it's worth it. So I'm even thinking that I feel there's a stay. All these peplums they can work for it. If you've tried it using a peplum stay, you can just let let me know in the comment section. But I will try it with a peplum stay soon. Instead of using a crinoline, line, I will use a stay that will cut in shape of a crinoline. line. So if that one to be work, I will just let us know in the comment section. If you haven't seen a video on how I made a bust here, like this kind of bust here, just check through my channel, you will see it there. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. I will now see you in my next nice video. Bye.